Hey dolls! So I'm all zoomed in and stuff because today I'm doing my reckless journey for you guys. So ignore my zits and stuff I got going on on my face because um, you're all up and close and personal here. But today I'm going to be doing my reckless journey video. So this is my reckless journal that I got and I have all the pages that I want to show you guys tag um, with some post-it notes or some sticky notes so I can go through and show you guys all the pages that I've done um, since my last episode. I know I delayed this for so long and it wasn't up on Thursday, um, but I did make the front cute. I did um, cute little things with some puffy paint that you can just get at your local craft store or Walmart, um, and then I plastered some of my little pony stickers all over it. And I just made it really cute. And then this is the, uh, the camo duct tape that I had on it from before, from one of my past episodes where I accidentally broke the journal in half. Uh, but anyway, so this is my little journal right here. And I'm going to go through and I'm going to show you all the pages that I haven't showed you yet that I have completed since the last time around. So, with that being said, the first one on here I see is this page right here. That is the makeup paper chain page. So I had to cut it out and everything. And I made this paper chain. I just taped it to the back of my tuck on the phone and draw on an envelope page. So I just taped it there. But I made this paper chain. There was no design purpose or anything to it. I just did the pink and red with marker. And then the next page I want to show you guys is this one right here. I, it says, bring this book in the shower with you. So as you guys saw before, I had decorated it like this, but I just wanted to show you what had happened after I took it in the shower. Look, you could see all the ink that bled from the, the markers and stuff, and it turned out pretty cool. And I think it looks pretty neat like that. So there was that page that I wanted to show you. And then, again, still another work in progress is the stamp page where I put the stamps from the letters that you guys send me. I think some of these are really cute, like this little porcupine one came from Canada. And then there were a couple other new ones that I've gotten, like this cute little Christmas one. Um, there are a few on here that are just so adorable and so cute. So that's where I collect the stamps that you guys um, put on the envelopes and the prezzies that you send. And then this page right here is a work in progress, but it is the cover this page with white things. So what I did is I took some string, and I don't know if you can really see this, but I took some string, and with using one piece of string, I took and wrote out my name, Manda, and then I kind of like curved it up here, and then I made a heart on this page. I don't know if you can see it or if it's showing up. You can kind of see it right there. But um, And then I put a white... Um, Barbie head that I had that's a phone case piece and I just kind of put it on there. This page was actually pretty funny because I was in the middle of talking with my boyfriend and we were just chit-chatting or whatever flipping through my journal and all of a sudden I came across this page and I just threw my journal like I just threw it across the room up against the wall and he's like what the heck and I it's make a sudden destructive unpredictable movement with the journal so I literally just was like and just like threw it out of my hands and then on that page, I just drew a person, like, smashing it up against the wall, because that's kind of what I did. This page is really, really cute. It says, doodle over the top of the cover, the title page, the instructions, and the copyright page. And then fold down the corners of your favorite pages. So that's what I did. I went through and I folded down the corners of my favorite pages and stuff. Um, but it says, doodle over the cover, so that's when I did kind of that. And then the title page I haven't done yet, um, the instructions page I did earlier, and the copyright page I haven't done yet either, but this page I just kind of covered in stickers and made it kind of cute. And then this page right here, I have an idea for what I want to do for this page. Um, this is the page of good thoughts, and I put little duct tape, penguin, penguin duct tape right here because penguins are cute and make a lot of people happy, so I just put the penguins right there. But on this page, I'm going to start taping in all of my fortunes that I get from Chinese restaurants when I get, you know, Chinese or I get takeout or whatever. Um, this is going to be the page of good thoughts with all the fortunes from all my fortune cookies and everything on there. So I think that's a really good idea. I think it's really cute. Um, I actually have my first fortune that I got tonight that I'm going to be adding to it, but I, that's what I'm going to do from there on out. So that gives you an idea of what you can do with yours. And then this page is infuse this page with a smell of your choosing. And I kind of cut it. I don't know if you can see it, but I cut this page, like, to be really, like, cool looking all jagged and stuff. Um, and I just put, like, these little spirals. And I put the 
label off of my Victoria's Secret Beach Dreams and literally I just took the spray and I just went spray 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 like three or four times and it still smells like it so it smells really good <laughs> and then the next one is collect your pocket lint glue it here this is a work in progress so I will have this one tagged for a while um, I just collected a little of my boyfriends and mine and just stuff that's funny <laughs> This page is a sign, what do you want it to say? And then I put, reminder, you are beautiful. And then I put just a little, you know, this is the page, this is the sign. Just a reminder, you are beautiful. I think that's really cute. And it's got the little, my little pony sticker right there. Then this page, I wanted to do on camera for you guys. And so this page right here says, space for negative comments. And literally, I just kind of went through and I wrote down all the negative comments that I've heard from people um, in my life. And, you know, just here, I'll just say off a couple. Um, You're ugly. My little pony is stupid. Ew, you look like a monster with no makeup. Uh, you're too shy. You, your videos are too long. You suck at doing makeup. Um, let's see, what's another one? You're too short. Do you ever shut up? You're an idiot. Um, <laughs> are you like five years old because you like My Little Pony? Uh, your style is hideous. You uh, Fake. Um, go get a tan. You're so white. Um, lose some weight. Uh, eat a donut. I don't like your photo editing style. Your video quality sucks. Um, anyway, there's just a ton on here that I wrote out that I've heard before in my life and back in the day These would hurt me really really bad. I would go home and I would cry for days I would refuse to go to school because of all the bullying and all the harassment and all just The horrible things that happen at school. I would just stay home I wouldn't want to go to school because of that But I have grown up and I have realized that yes, no matter what you do in life, no matter where you go in life People are going to say things. People are going to accuse you because everyone has their own opinion on things. And they could just be saying things out of jealousy, or they could just be saying things because they don't like you, period, or because they're having issues of their own, but they want to point fingers at you to take everyone's attention off of what they're going through. Um, but what I just want to get at right now is that no matter what people tell you, if they say you're too skinny, too fat, whatever, um, if they're just straight up accusing you f for anything in life or for liking something you like or for doing something you love doing, whatever it is, just shut it out. Just completely ignore it. So what I wanted to do on camera right now is just show you guys this is how I feel about all those negative comments. I just want to completely close those out of my life and 100 million percent just completely focus on all the positive because nobody wants negativity in their life. No one wants the negative. Everyone's gonna get that, oh, you're ugly, you you look funny with braces, four eyes, you have glasses, you're not allowed to like Hello Kitty because it's for only kids, blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. So what I wanna show you guys right now is that it's okay. It's completely okay to like what you like. It's completely okay to do what you do. You know, that's why I stress this so much on my channel. Because I've been bullied. I've been there. I've been teased. I've been harassed. I've been, you know, it's it's horrible. It's completely and totally horrible. But no matter where you go in life, it's going to happen. It's not necessarily a matter of getting the bullies to stop, because they won't. It's a matter of being the bigger person and not letting it affect you as much. Um, I know that's really, really hard to do sometimes because of some things that people say, but you can do it. Just... Don't let it affect you as much. More than likely, they're either just saying it because they're jealous or because they have insecurities of their own that they're just trying to cover up by calling you names and calling you out and teasing you. And who cares what they think? You know, they have their own life. They don't have to like My Little Pony. It's their life. They can do what they want. So don't give them full control over your life. Don't let them make your decisions for you of what you should and shouldn't like. Like your own things. Do what you want to do. And just be yourself. Be you, because everyone else on this planet is already taken. You can't be someone else. Don't pretend to be something that you're not. So feel free to like what you want, like. Feel free to dress how you want to dress. Wear what you want to wear. Do what you want to do. And for all those people who have something totally against it, they have their own life. If they don't like that style, they don't have to wear that style. If they don't like what you look like, who cares? They're not you. So, with that being said, I am shutting out all these negative comments, and I just don't think about the negative. I always think about the positive, because the positive is what ma matters. That's, positive is what counts. 
So, that being said, this kind of being the same thing, this page right here says lose this page. Throw it away and accept the loss. So, I'm going to unstickify that page, and I'm going to rip this page out. And I'm losing it! Bye-bye, page. Just forget it. Let's just move on. One more page I wanted to show you is the Draw Here with Glue page. And I just used some glitter glue, some purple glitter glue, and wrote out my name and then this heart. And then I just put a little Hello Kitty sticker and some little hearts with some marker right there. So, with that being said, I hope you all enjoyed my Wreck This Journey. I hope you guys can take something out of um, this. This Wreck This Journal can be so much more powerful than just a book. You know, you can make it inspirational, you can make it fun, you can make it creative, you can do whatever you want to do with this book and I kind of feel the same way about, like I said, what you like in your life. You can like My Little Pony, you can, you know, do whatever you want. You can like My Little Pony, you can dress how you want, you can like whatever music you want to like, um, and it doesn't matter. I've, I've had people criticize me about my book, my Wreck This Journey, and say, you're not supposed to make it cute, you're supposed to destroy it. Um, the very first page actually says the, well, not the very first page, but the instructions page actually says right here, instructions are open to interpretation. And that's kind of the same thing, you know. People put so many standards. They set so many standards for kids and youngsters and even adults or teenagers these days. Like, they just assume, like, oh, you're a teenager, so you're going to act like this. You're going to do this. Nobody says you have to follow the rules like that. There's no, you, you don't, the status quo is what they call it. And the status quo is just like, you know, if you're at school and there's the jocks and the cheerleaders and the geeks and stuff, who cares? Be your own kind of category. Be your own kind of you. Be, be yourself. And that's what I'm trying to stress at. Don't, make it so no one can put a label on you. Make it tricky. Make it unique. Be yourself. Like me, I'm a total girly girl and I love My Little Pony and I'm a child at heart. But then again, I also love country music and I love camo and I can go out and I can get drenched in mud head to toe and not even care. But at the same time, maybe I'll want to go and get my nails done. You know, I am, I am not a type. I created my own type and that's what I want to stress is that you guys, you don't have to fit into a certain category. You don't have to be a certain person. The certain person you need to be is yourself. And with that being said, I'm going to wrap this up and I'm going to go ahead and go. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, give it a thumbs up and I will talk to you all in my next video. So until then, so long, stay strong, stay true, and be you. Okay, bye!